Akuma, the master of the Masals and is the practitioner of the Dark Hido. His name put terror into the hearts of many gamers since his inclusion at the end of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Akuma has appeared as either a guest character or as a secret in various fighting games including Tekken 7 and X-Men Children of the Atom. He has Zanku Hadouken and Shangoku Satsu. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently the fourth ranking character in D tier. But even with his placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Akuma a dangerous warrior? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Akuma Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Akuma moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Go Hadouken. This move is Akuma's projectile attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The light punch version travels at a slower pace, while the fierce punch variation moves much faster. Both versions of the move only score for one hit. The Go Hadouken is the standard projectile itself that is stronger and faster since Akuma uses the Dark Hado to strengthen it. This move is very combo friendly. Use the Go Hadouken to zone and apply pressure to the opponent. When the Go Hadouken is thrown in the air, it is then called the Zanku Hadouken. This move is really the aerial version of the Hadouken, but it is thrown at the opponent at an angle. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button while in midair. Use this move to gain aerial advantage and to control space and distance. And when it comes to the Light Punch and Fierce Punch versions, the same rules apply. Light Punch travels much slower, while the Fierce Punch variation travels at a faster velocity. Switch between the Gohadoken and the Zanku version to add to your zoning game. Up next is the attack called the Go Shoruken. This is Akuma versions of the Dragon Punch. To do the attack, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. The Light Punch version has less of a vertical range, while the Fierce Punch variation has more height. Also, the Fierce Punch version hits three times. This move has fast startup time and is an excellent combo finisher. The Go Shoruken is the standard anti air and is considered to be stronger and faster than Ken and Ryu versions. I know I say this many times before only go with the fierce version if you know you will connect for sure. Otherwise, Light Punch is your safest option. 
This move is called the Tatsumaki Zanku Yaku, or AKA the Electric Hurricane Kick. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. This attack is a horizontal move that lets Akuma move forward across the screen. This move works excellently in combos, and you can even do this technique in midair. The Tatsumaki has an arc motion while executing it in midair. Akuma's version of the Tatsu is closer to Ryu's, but it moves much faster and is mostly hidden. Doing this attack while jumping will propel Akuma upwards. Doing this attack while falling will quickly move Akuma downwards. Also, the Hurricane Kick is another way to get closer to the opponent. Just don't do it randomly or you'll end up leaving yourself wide open. The Assured Senku or Warp is Akuma's teleportation move. To do the move, do a Dragon Punch motion forwards or backwards and press either both punches or both kicks. Doing this move will give Akuma a small window of invincibility as he moves from one point to the other. Not only you can use this technique to escape opponents, but you can use it for offensive purposes as well. Remember that the forward Dragon Punch motion will move Akuma towards the opponent, while the reverse Dragon Punch motion will move him backwards. Also, pressing both punches will allow the Ashura Senku to move at a far range. while pressing both kicks will move Akuma at a shorter distance. The Tenmaku Jinyaku is Akuma's dive kick. To do the move, jump and do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. This move comes out very fast and is a great way of catching opponents off guard if done right. Also, it is important to know that doing a dive kick from a super jump will allow you to combo into other attacks such as the Temba Gonzaku. The Temaku Jinyaku can only be done from midair. Akuma has three normal throws, press four and first punch to execute his first punch throw. Press four and first kick to execute his first kick throw. Press four and first punch in mid air for an aerial first punch throw. The Hell Wheel is Akuma's command grab. To do the attack, do a half circle back plus first kick. And of course you have to be close to your opponent. Press forward and first punch to do Akuma Skull Splitter. And I think this is a top attack. Or an overhead attack. Press forward and fierce kick to do the whirlwind kick. Press up and fierce kick while midair to perform an aerial wing kick. To do the toe kick, press up and light kick twice. The toe kick is on the second attack. Akuma has one launcher in the game. Press down plus first punch for the standard launcher.
You can do Akuma's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick and press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Masosko Hado. This is a move where Akuma does a massive energy beam based on his fireball. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. But unlike Ryu's version, this move cannot be done in the air. The Masosko Hido is not combo friendly, but it is matchable for more hits and damage. Use this hyper for massive damage from far distance, or to do chipping damage to the opponent. The second hyper combo on the list is called the Masos Goraisen. This is where Akuma would do the super version of the hurricane kick. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This hyper is a vertical style attack. It assaults the opponent in the same manner as the Shinchoru Ken and Psylocke's Maelstrom. This hyper can only be done on the ground and it can be used as an anti-air with the correct timing. This move is the most effective when the opponent is up close or right above you. So the next hyper I would like to discuss is called the Masos Goshoru. This is where Akuma does a hyper based on the Dragon Punch. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This attack does massive damage if it connects properly. Akuma will do 3 Dragon Punches for a total of 12 hits. The Masos Go Shoru is most likely Akuma Braid and Butter Hyper and is very combo friendly. So the fourth hyper is called the Timma Gozanku. This hyper is based on the Zanku Hadouken attack. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons while in midair. Akuma will bombard the enemy with a plethora of fireballs as he comes down from the sky. This hyper has great offensive abilities as well as pinning down the opponent. Also, it is possible to finish off an air combo with the Tim Muggen Zaiku. The last hyper I would like to discuss is called the Shungoku Satsu. This is a Kuma Levels 3 hyper. To do the move, press Light Punch, Light Punch, forward, like kick, fierce punch. Akuma will move at the enemy. If he connects, the screen will flash black for a total of 16 hits. This move is easily Akuma's most damaging hyper but it's not without its flaws either. The attack consumes three levels of meter just to initiate. Plus, the move itself travels extremely slow. Therefore, 
it is best to be close to the opponent when trying to catch them with the attack. Also, try coming up with creative ways of doing the move. For an example, from a Dragon Punch, or from the Ashura Senku. So here's what to expect when you use Akuma as an assist character. Akuma's alpha assist would do a fierce punch go Hadouken. His beta assist would do a fierce punch go Shoruken. And his gamma assist will perform a fierce kick Tatsumaki Zanku Yaku. Overall, I feel like it's safe to say that Akuma is the most offensive Shoto in the game. This character literally has the most hyper moves with a whopping total of 5 of them. Akuma has a lot of choices when it comes to hypers, which definitely increases his mix up game. But just like in previous installments, Akuma suffers from bad defense and he has a severe case of glass jaw syndrome. Even so, an aggressive Akuma can be a force to be reckoned with. Use everything you have at your disposal to find a way past your opponent's defense. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Akuma. Mix up Akuma's Go Hadouken and the Zanku Hadouken. Use them both in ground and aerial combos as well as applying pressure into zone the opponent. The Masasu Go Shoru is probably Akuma's braid and butter hyper. Remember that it's very combo friendly and it's easy to connect with for both hits and damage. Use Akuma's Ashura Senku for both offense and defense. Out of all the Street Fighter Shodos such as Ryu, Dan, and Ken, Akuma has the worst defense. Whenever using Akuma as an assist, make sure to use the Gamma one, which is the first kit Tatsumaki Zanku Yaku. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.